Here I have my wife Amanda's childhood Game Boy Color and her copy of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. The game needs a new save battery, and the Game Boy won't boot up at all. And, upon closer inspection, I find out why. Yikes. These batteries have been left in this Game Boy for years. Fortunately for this Game Boy, this is the perfect opportunity to show you how to clean alkaline battery leakage out of your electronics. Today's tutorial applies to cleaning alkaline batteries only. Do not use the cleaning methods described ahead for cleaning leakage from nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, or any other kind of battery. Also, when handling leaking batteries, make sure that you use gloves and proper eye protection, since the substances you will come into contact with are skin irritants and can be dangerous if they get in your eyes. As you can see here, these alkaline batteries are super old. They expired over a decade ago. To make matters worse, they seem to have coated both themselves and the inside of this Game Boy's battery compartment with some sort of white substance. When the chemicals inside of an alkaline battery break down over time and the cell begins to corrode, this corrosive white substance, known as potassium hydroxide, or battery acid as we usually call it, can escape the cell. When it does that, it becomes potassium carbonate when it reacts with the air around it. Now, potassium carbonate is a lot more stable than its former self, but you should still wear gloves and eye protection when handling it, just to be safe. All in all, and aside from the batteries probably being dead, this is likely the source of the power issue that this Game Boy has right now, so let's go through it and clean it up. For this tutorial, you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol, preferably 90% or higher, and some distilled white vinegar. Your first order of business is removing the leaky cells from the battery compartment. I use a blunt scalpel tool to pull them out, but you can probably get away with using a flathead screwdriver. As you can see, a lot of battery leakage got all over the inside of the battery compartment. Some chunks of it are probably loose, so try to shake it out first, and then lightly scrape the rest of it that didn't come out so easily. Once you've gotten out what you can, take apart your device and separate the plastics from any metal components. For this Game Boy, I also opted to remove the battery terminal piece from the console shell. Now comes the fun part. Take a cotton swab and put some white vinegar on it. And then start rubbing the vinegar soaked swab onto the areas affected by the battery leakage. Almost immediately, you'll notice it bubble and fizz from the chemical reaction. Keep cleaning up all of the leakage and let the vinegar do its thing for a little bit. After that, use some isopropyl alcohol to clean and dissolve what's left behind. Make sure you get into every little nook and cranny that you can fit your cotton swab into. Moving on to the battery contacts, clean them with vinegar and IPA as well. I actually had soaked these terminals in vinegar to neutralize the battery leakage first, so you see me doing that here. There's a lot of battery leakage that got onto these terminals, so this reaction is going to be going on for a little while. After that's done, I pull it out and I lightly scrape away what's left and clean up the rest with IPA. Next, I move on to the battery terminals attached to the Game Boy system board. I do the same thing with them, using white vinegar and IPA on cotton swabs to neutralize the battery acid and clean away what I can. In the end, most of the corrosion caused by the battery leakage was reversible. Looks like these battery terminals will be able to conduct electricity again just fine. We'll get back to putting the Game Boy together in just a second, but I need to cover something else really quick. Something I normally don't cover in my tutorials is the cleanup of your work area after the fact. 
However, this time is a little bit different since we're dealing with a potentially corrosive substance. To start, begin with cleaning off your tools. Clean them with vinegar, IPA, and a paper towel, carefully wiping away any battery acid residue left on them from the cleaning we just did. Old alkaline batteries are usually okay and safe to be discarded in the trash. However, some places, like California, have special rules for disposing of them. So be sure to check with your local authorities on how to properly get rid of them. I've also put some links in the description below for finding out how to dispose of your old batteries. Next, I clean my workspace with vinegar, pouring a small amount of it over the flakes of battery acid left on my work mat. Spread it around and wait for the reaction to become inert, and then wipe it up. Then clean what's left with some IPA and a paper towel. If you're wearing gloves, which I hope you are, change them out for some new ones now for handling the now cleaned electronics. On Amanda's Game Boy, I connect a battery pack with some alligator clips and test it out. Looks like the Game Boy is working again, so let's put it all back together now. I put the cleaned battery terminals back into the back half of the shell and press down to lock it into place. I check over the inside of the Game Boy to make sure it's all clean, and then I put all of the plastic pieces back into the front half, like the power switch and the IR shield, and I place the back half of the shell onto the Game Boy again and reinsert all of the screws. Lastly, I clean the battery door with some IPA and a paper towel, and I load some fresh batteries in the Game Boy. All that's left is to give it a final test, and we're all done. As I briefly mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can use this method for cleaning alkaline battery leakage on all kinds of electronics. For example, I cleaned this TI-84 calculator that also had that problem. The process was pretty much the same, separating plastics from metals and cleaning with vinegar and IPA. As for the Zelda cartridge, it eventually did get fully restored and I cleaned all of the gunk and dirt off of it. I also installed a new save battery in it, which I show how to do in another tutorial video. I've put a link to that tutorial in the description below, so check it out if you get a chance. You may have noticed that my pace for getting videos out has slowed down as we've gotten further into the year. I had to get my business more established and I put up a small Linktree based website with all of my brand and business links. I also set up an eBay store, fixed and sold a few things on it, and a bunch of other important stuff. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who has been patiently waiting for me to get back into some kind of a regular video release schedule. Anyways, that's just about it for this video, so check out my new website at kyleawesome.com. And if you liked this video, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. And as always, you all stay awesome, and I'll see you in my next video.